Welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews, starring your host, One Star Weak Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Weak Foot. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today, One Star Weak Foot, and it is just so great to see you back on the channel. Uh, viewing another video I appreciate all you guys at home And speaking of appreciations um, I gotta say a big, big thank you to Nasir um, He hit me up on um, Twitter He slid in the DMs and he said Hi, I'm really enjoying the content And I just want to say They don't know about Zola85 I'm telling you If you ever want to review him I'm offering my account You deserve the support Even if you support Everton So I gotta say Thank you so much Nasir For letting me use your account Even with the Everton comment um, I really Really do appreciate it And That's exactly what we're gonna do On this episode We're gonna try out This 85 rated Gianfranco Zola And when you look at this card It looks like he does Have a lot of things That does suit the meta He's 5 foot 6 He has the high medium work rates He has a 4 star 4 star combination And as you can see He bought him for 770,000 coins when you look up his price right now, he's gone up. He's at, a, he's at like 850,000 coins. So he got in at a good time. Um, and when you look at this record, man, this record is absolutely outstanding. He's played 300 games with him, uh, 287 goals, 154 assists. Um, so that's going to be a massive, massive contribution, obviously. But before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, please hit your boy with a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. Now let's look at the stats a little bit closer, all right? What makes this card suited to the meta? All right, so first off, we gotta talk about the pace. The pace there looks very, very nice. The acceleration, especially at 93, looks amazing. Um, his shooting stats have some good and bad aspects to them. I mean, to be honest, his finishing, very good, 85. Shot power, 87 is very good. I would want a bit more attack positioning, especially from a camp position, um, but 83 is not too shabby. Um, his volleys are pretty bad, but it doesn't really matter that much. His passing stats are decent as well. I mean, his actual passing stats, um, short passing, long passing, very solid. Curve, very good. But his vision is only 75, and that's kind of, it's kind of weird, actually. It's, it's weir weird to see a player with such high passing stats in an attacking position with only 75 vision. We're going to see if that affects him in-game. His dribbling stats are absolutely amazing. I mean, 92 agility, 92 balance, 93 dribbling. I mean, what is there not to like? His physical stats don't look too good, but I mean, he looks like one of those small agile players, so we're not too worried about that. All right, guys, just to give you guys some context, this is how we're rocking the team. We're playing the 3-5-2. Uh, these are the custom tactics right here. Nothing too crazy. Um, Pretty, pretty default stuff. We're going to be playing Zola in the camp position. And his instructions are going to be stay forward and everything else on balance. So that gives you some context as to how he's going to play in the cam roll or in a 3-5-2. So without further ado, we're going to jump into the player review part of this episode. We're going to jump into the gameplay. We got a review analyst in the studios, One Star Weakfoot. Take it away. Thanks, One Star. So those of you guys at home might be wondering, is this Zola card worth 900,000 coins? Because you might be bringing him in to link in a Politano. Or you might be bringing him in because you got him on the Baby Icon SBC. Is he worth 900,000 coins? I would say no. Um, and that doesn't mean he's a bad card, but 900,000 coins is just a lot of coins on this game. I would assign his value around 500, 600,000 coins for what he brings to your team, along with the icon links. I'm going to break down the stats so you know exactly what to expect at home. So, first thing we're going to talk about is his pace. He has 90 pace, all right? How does it feel in game? I would say he definitely, definitely feels quite nippy on and off the ball. He feels very similar as far as pace um, to somebody like Mertens or Insigne where they have the acceleration, especially coming out of the skill moves. However, they just don't have that top end pace because his sprint speed is only 88 and Mertens and Insigne sprint speed aren't like in the mid to high 90s. So they just don't have the top end sprint speed. So I wouldn't really play him on the wing. I mean, I'm sure he could do a job there, but he's best really deployed as a cam or maybe a secondary striker. Um, his pace is very, very good. It's not elite. So overall, I would have to give it a nine out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about shooting, okay? And like I said earlier in the video, there are a few things to talk about. First, we're gonna talk about his attack positioning, okay? And um, Nasir did put uh, Deadeye on this card, so his attack positioning should be 98. 
but on the card it's an 83 and how's it feel in game i would say his attack positioning was solid okay it's not on the same level as somebody with elite attack positioning like maybe like a vardy or, or Werner or, or ben yetter you do notice the difference in attack positioning with those players who have 90 attack positioning or higher however somebody like zola still makes intelligent runs he's still in intelligent positions and being that he's a cam and not a striker really i think that his attack positioning doesn't really let him down it's pretty decent his finishing at 85 I thought he actually finished better than 85 in game. It might be because he has 87 shot power, but this guy was scoring a lot of goals for me. I don't know how to explain it, but this guy was just always, always, always finishing whatever I tried. It's also aided by the fact that he does have the finesse shot trait. So if you get a finesse off with his right foot, 10 times out of 10, that thing's hitting the back of the net. And that brings me to the next stat, which is the 85 long shots. Long shots are kind of dead on this game, but if you do have somebody like Zola with the 85 long shots, with the high shot power, with the finesse shot trade, they can still bang him. I did score one with him, and I did come close a few other times. Overall, I gotta give a shooting an 8.75 out of 10. He's not quite good enough to play striker, but at the camp position, this guy can overlap and score a lot of goals for you. Next, we're going to talk about his passing because, like I said, this guy is probably best as a cam. And is his 75 vision letting him down? I would say no. I think this card is best used in a Tiki Taka system where you're making a lot of quick passes and you're really combining with a lot of players in the 3 5 2, in the 4 1 2 and 2, even in the 4 2 3 1. I don't think he does well in positions where he has to make a bunch of long passes or he has to really hit the ball from one end of the field to the other. That's not really his forte. When it comes to making those tight passes in the Tiki Taka systems or those finesse passes in and around the box, this guy really excels at that. And um, his curve at 87 definitely helps with that aspect of his card. His long passing, like I said, is above average, nothing more. Um, so if you want a cam that plays that fast Tiki Taka style, if you want a cam that can overlap and score some goals, I think this guy can do it for you. His passing, I gotta give an 8 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about his dribbling. And in my opinion, this guy's dribbling is the standout aspect of this card. I mean, you would expect it to be just by looking at his face stats, 91 dribbling. And all his dribbling stats, with the exception of reactions and composure, are in the 90s. And in game, it definitely feels like that. Because this guy's only five foot six, and because he has high dribbling stats, this guy is so, so hard to dispossess. Once again, like a Mertens, like an Insigne, he's just so, so hard to dispossess. He just floats with the ball. He turns so quick he's very responsive and if you like to dribble if you like to utilize l1 strafe dribbling you're gonna have an absolute blast with this card and i think it makes up for some of his other shortcomings because like i said his attack positioning is 83 it could be better but because this guy's dribbling is so good all you gotta do is get the ball to him and he'll create his own shot um, and that's really one of the beautiful aspects of it. Once again, like, like I said, this guy's not a good long passer. He's not the best long passer. His vision does let him down at times. But because he can dribble into space, he doesn't really need the long passing, especially if you have him playing at the camp position. Overall, I got to give his dribbling a 9.5 out of 10. It was just so much fun to use this card dribbling wise. Finally, we got to talk about this card's physical, and there's not really much to talk about. I mean, 53 jumping, 53 strength, 67 aggression, 5 foot 6. This guy's gonna feel weak AF. There's no joke about that. His 83 stamina, though, is pretty decent, all right? If you do set him to stay forward and you don't press too much with him, he will last all 90 minutes. At a stretch, he will last 120 minutes. But if you go high pressure at any point in the game, if you sprint too much with his card, this guy might need a sub. Um, if you do play him as a secondary striker, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend, but I do think he could do a job there, I think his stamina will last all game. Overall, I gotta give his physical a 5 out of 10. So overall, what would I rate this card? I think this card's a very, very good card, honestly. There's certain things about this card that's very, very good, all right? His pace, solid. His dribbling is absolutely amazing, and his finishing alongside his finesse shot trait is very reliable. The things I don't like about this card is that you are kind of limited in the sense that um, his vision at 75 is long passing at 82, mean that if you do need long passes out of your cam, you might be a bit limited there. You might be better served going to somebody that has um, better long passing, better vision, everything like that. And the only reason why I'm being so harsh on this card is because he's worth 900,000 coins. Um, that being said, if you did pack him in the base icon SBC, is he weekend league approved? I would say yes. What's his best position? I would have to say Cam. Overall, I got to rate him an 8.75 out of 10. He's not an elite card, but overall, it's actually one of the funnest cards I've used on this game. 
All right, so that's going to wrap up my Zola review. Hopefully, you guys at home enjoyed it once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, later.